Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to study how we can collect information by using a picture graph. So as you see, we have pictures and those pictures are represented by tally marks as we discussed in our prior lesson. Now today we're going to use pictures to represent it, to represent our graph using the tally marks as a guide. So let's get, get it done by drawing our pictures. So we have, let's count our tally marks first, and then we're going to draw the pictures that go with them. So let's see. So we have for games, which is on this side, games, and I have five, six, seven. So I'm going to draw the best I can the games. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Those are my games and those are my picture of my games. And now I'm going to use paint. How many do I see for paint? One, two, three. So I'm going to do the paintbrush the best I can. So it will be one, two. Well, my pictures are not that pretty. Three. Right, so I have three paintbrushes. A quart. I, I just guide myself using the tally chart, the tally marks. Then read, I need to draw books. How many books do I need to draw? So I know this is five, then one more, six. So I'm just going to draw books. Okay, so that's one book. It's another book. So I need to do six books. So three, four, five, and six. So those are the six books. So yes, yeah, so I have five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, yes. And then here's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games, and three paint. That is how you do a picture graph. It's just representing, represented by pictures. And this is a tally mark graph, just using um, tallies. So now let's answer some questions using our graph our picture graph, um, which activity is the favorite? So if we look at the graph, we can definitely tell the one that has the most. So the one that has the most is games. So I would just answer games. Or I could write a complete sentence. Games is the favorite activity or the favorite activity is games. Now go ahead and pause the video and try to answer how many students chose read. So now after you did it on your own, Let's look again. How many students chose read? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six students chose read. Six students. I always make sure I have my units. Right. I hope the video was helpful.